So Dave, well done winning today. Can you talk a bit about the tactics at the end? Uh, well, the way you've worked out, as Colin has actually said, um, the the group seemed to be beginning to stall a little bit, and um, there was right, the odd rider just drifting off the front of things, and Greg got a little bit of a gap, and the next thing I kind of got a nudge from Colin, and said, kind of, go with this one, and tried. So um, the two of us got clear, and basically we just kind of rode as hard as we could for whatever, five to ten minutes, got the gap, and that was it. We knew once we got in through the headwind the last time, that probably would have been enough to do it. So uh, we were kind of keeping an eye on the, the gaps and things, and uh, basically we had had just enough, I reckon, um, the last time then into the tailwind to discourage anyone from behind. Were you happy that you would get the edge over Greg? Um, well, I, it <coughs> probably it finished up as good as, as well as I could have, have hoped for and things. Um, we myself and Greg train quite a lot together in the winter and things, and, well, any chance that we get... Um, and I'd know on the balance of things, we'd, when we'd have little sprints and things ourselves, I'd probably come out on top maybe 60-70% at the time. So the chances were I was kind of going to be okay. And then so the way it finished up today, um, with us having enough of a buffer, it meant the last time with those little drags I was able to recover slightly. Just, just did barely enough and uh, had as I said, a little bit more of a, a kick at the end just sure. to be able but to I think it was good that the, the two of you got clear and you didn't have to fight it out with the likes of Colm who's well, that's it. well that for me that was handy enough because uh, we always had that kind of in the bank anyway um, if it did come down to it and there was a group together uh, we'd be able to use Colm to set him up and then he was able to do the same he knew behind that um, the chances were he'd win the bunch gallop anyway so if anyone else dragged them back up um, he'd be in a, a good position for that how many so times have you done this championships? This is the first time I've yeah, been. So, um, so, so it's, I guess it's nice to get that. Oh, it is, yeah, yeah, because there, there kind of was a bit of uh, a bit of pressure on, really. Um, so the last couple of weeks I've actually been feeling fairly good since the Ross and things this year. So uh, I kind of put pressure on myself, really, that uh, said it's about time I got a win. And I said this is a, a good, as good a one to win as any and things. And... Um, I said, looking at the the racing that's been done and the rankings and things, like we were we were sort of the ones who were s sort of stuck out and things mm. at the moment. So we said we better better put a good show on, like and and kind of show that we're <laughs> hopefully worth what we're ranked at, like. So that was that. What's the plan now between this point and the end of the season? Um, I honestly don't know. Anything goes from now. After this, it's I I don't mind. <laughs> I'll, I'll ride everything that um that I kind of feel like as it comes up I'll probably kind of approach everything with no pressure and the chances are I'll probably get loads of different there are loads of results and things from now on but uh, so that from now from from this on I don't I don't mind this is the the win that counts for the year I felt very good uh, Dave and Rory were going very well and I think we knew those were the, the top guys and uh, Rory was making a few big digs and we were getting on him and then he'd sit up and everybody jump on him and Dave and I were making a few sneak attacks to counter those and just we were sort of shadow boxing a bit and once once it got to like a lap and a half they gave us a little bit too much room and then we put the hammer down and Dave and I are training partners so and between us was probably 50 years of racing so the exchanges couldn't have been smoother and we we really had you decided to leave it to the sprint? I mean, was that we always going to be the case? Didn't want to leave it to a sprint. Well, at least Colin was in the group, so. Uh, no, I mean, but, but once the two of you oh were clear, were you happy uh, to fight it out in that last kilometre, or yeah. would you prefer to have clipped away earlier? We, we're, we're both best mates. We weren't going to jump each other, but it, it, it wouldn't have mattered. I don't think. I don't think it would have changed anything. We, we, yeah, it was happy enough that it came down to a sprint. We're both, we, we're both training with each other. Now, this is about the fifth time. There's no places between us. Like, I don't know, last week in the Paddy Flanagan, Dave was second in the road race and I was third. He was, he was like, seventh in the time trial and I was eighth. And then overall he was second and I was, I was second and I was fourth. So, so, uh, so there's very rarely too many people between us. Right, yeah. Um, when did you turn veteran? Well, this year, but I'm 43. But okay. it's only with the new rule that you can be an A1 end event. Right, and what's the plan for the rest of the season? Have you got anything in mind? Try to get a win. <laughs> Try to get a win. I've had a win every year of my career, except the, w the except the year I crashed down in Waterford. 
So uh, I made myself like a, some sort of Faustian pact, like 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 15 years ago, that if, as long as I could win one senior one race, that I'd keep going. Um, so now, so I've done that, but it's it's, it's, it's getting harder and harder, I think. But, uh, well, anyway, happy with today? Happy enough. It's hard to get second. Yeah. Guys like Dave and me, are, we like to win. But, but I, 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 to get second to Dave, I couldn't be happier with second to Dave because he, he's like my best mate. You know. So you got the medal today. You happy with how things were today? <laughs> uh, pretty happy. Yeah, I don't think I was going fantastic today. I think Dave was going a little bit better. So I was nearly urging him to get up the road and try and seal a medal anyway. And I'd. Uh, try and win the sprint then and that's the way it worked out actually so I was very happy with that and we got the team prize as well so I can't complain. Was there much jumping around behind once they were clear? Um, was, it, was it kind of complicated well in the finale? I don't think there was much jumping on the last lap really but it was when Dave and Greg got away there was a lot of jumping on the second last and third last lap. The last lap seemed to be a bit uh, uh, neutralised, maybe that's down to my work but anyway. <laughs> And I thought Rory Wiley was going to leave us again, but uh, I think too many people were watching him. And then there was a guy there called John Madden, who I think was stronger than Rory, but he doesn't seem to do the proper racing like he, he's a time trialist. But I went after him one time, and it was very hard to catch him. Now, if he had been up there with Dave and Greg, I think he could have uh, spoiled uh, the finale for them. But I think it all worked out pretty well for us.